What's going on everybody? Physio Trader here and I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to talk about the Street Smart Edge platform. For those of you who don't know, um, that is the platform with Charles Schwab and I use that as a one of my trading platforms. I use two, so uh, right now you're just kind of looking at my whole desktop here. Um, now the reason my desktop is real clean and empty is because I am actually trading on an iMac. So this computer you see here is an iMac and you're like, wait, but you're using Windows. You're right, I am using Windows. I did something which is I partitioned my Mac, my hard drive on my Mac, and I basically allotted um, around, I think around 100 gigabytes of space so that I could um, upload you know, Windows 10 Pros. That way I could use these trading softwares. They, they, they do work on Mac, but there's always a lag. There's always some little difficulty with them in most trading platforms. If you don't know, I'm here to tell you that most of them are optimized for Windows-based processors. And so um, because of that and Windows operating system, and because of that, it, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and use Windows. Like even Lightspeed, when I talked to them on the phone, they actually said like, we don't recommend you use Mac. We have a Mac program. Um, like a DMG file, but we actually highly recommend that if you're going to use their program, their software, that they do want you to use Windows. So, you know, I decided to optimize it and, you know, use it for that. And I actually could not be happier. I didn't have to waste money, you know, getting a separate machine or anything like that. You know, with all that being said, that wasn't the point of the video, but just something I wanted to throw in there. So, right here, I've got Street Smart Edge. And so, like I said, I've been using this platform for 10 years. And it's actually kind of silly. Well, I've been using Schwab for 10 years. I've probably been using the platform itself for mm, five years. Before that, I was kind of doing investing. And then as I got into swing trading, I did a lot of it from my phone. And so, but let's talk about this. So um, I, I, you saw me, I clicked the button, I started it up. This is what the startup screen looks like. And I've always wondered, I've, I've looked online and I couldn't find anything about how can I paper trade or how can I learn how to use the Street Smart Edge platform? How can I learn what it's like? And for the life of me, it was right here in front of me. It was staring me in the face. And it is just, you click this tab, demo login, and by clicking this tab, and then you type in your, um, your traditional username and password, then you click login, and there you are. So I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna type in all my stuff because I don't want to deal with blurring everything out. Um, but I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna log in, and then I'll go back to it. All right, so we're getting back on here. So like I said, I clicked in and it says right here, logging in demo. Now here's the thing. So give this a second. So here's kind of the thing I actually, you know, like that I never get to talk about with Schwab is that Schwab, I do love the platform. I, I have nothing but, you know, great things to say about it. It does lag on you every once in a while on the opening gates, you know, the opening bell, the first five minutes or so. So because of that, if you are a, uh, you know, a very active day trader. I really, I gotta say at this point in time, at the time of this recording, I don't recommend it. It used to be better, but during the 2020 COVID pandemic, it, it just kinda, they, they couldn't keep up with their infrastructure. They couldn't keep up with it. Um, and so because of that, so two things I wanted to show you. One, right here, it says demo. So you are, you know, in a demo account. If you, you know, there's nothing else in here that says you're in a demo other than right here. And so again, for those of you who are not familiar with my screen, um, so Schwab, one of the things I really like about this platform is these tab functions. So I actually have two screens. You can't see my screen over on the left, but I basically have more tabs. I have two tabs actually. I talked about it in a different video, which I can link down in the description if you'd like to see about it. But basically it's two things. I have a tab that is called Sidecar, which is basically whatever ticker I'm looking at here on my primary screen, I'm looking at that at like eight more charts at eight different time frames. Just don't have to click between the two. Uh, you know, between the two tabs are quick, click between all of the different chart time frames, And that's just so I can do a top-down analysis very, very quickly. To be quite honest, I use this the most often is, you know, in pre-market when I'm actually planning out my trades. Um, but it is helpful if you're doing a swing trade. Um, you know, if you're, you know, doing day trading, you're in and out scalping like I do with Lightspeed, it really isn't as effective. But it is nice to have in you know, because I have that extra screen real estate. Now the other tab that you cannot see here, I just call fishing. And that's essentially is just where I have nine charts, all different tickers on the one minute. And I'm just, you know, I'm looking around and I'm fishing. I put in, you know, all the tickers that I'm interested in looking at that's on my daily watch list. And I just see what, what comes up. But so anyway, you know, these MBP stands for MacBook Pro and iMac, it just depends on what screen is optimized. So like I said, you know, I can show you this too. So 
you know, basically I don't even have room for anything else. So that's just, these things are, are, um, you know, optimized for my screen, my, the screen real estate that I have afforded to me. And so one of the things that I did want to go over was, I mean, I don't know if you could tell, but like, look at that lag time that it takes to load the screen. Now, the good thing is, is that lag time tends to only happen the very first time you click the tab. So if you are going to use Street Smart Edge, whether you're in the demo account or not, before you actually start getting into the groove of wanting to trade and wanting to do everything, I highly recommend that you kind of, you know, flip through and click all the tabs you want. I don't know if you noticed, but that was quite a bit faster to click between the tabs as opposed to the first time where it has to load everything. So with that being said, let's, let's get into kind of the demo part. So right here, um, you know, I've got the right here. I don't want to hover over because I think it'll give my account numbers, but right here I have all of my account types. I actually have five different account types over here. And so you can kind of see those there and these are all real accounts. Um, and because of it, so on this account, I've got it set on options right now. So buy to open, sell to open, buy to close, sell to close. Um, if I toggle over here to stocks, that's just so I can get in and out of the equities themselves. As you can notice, the short button here is kind of faded away. I can't short because this is a retirement account. Um, whereas if I click over to my individual account, I actually do have a short button um, because I can short. This is, you know, a standard brokerage account. Um, however, if you go over here and I do not have the ability to do options because I'm not set up to do options in this account. So just wanted to show you, um, basically it, it is going to behave um, the way that your account is set up. And so that's really important. And um, you know, you're not over here saying, oh, I'm gonna short a bunch of stuff because I wanna play or practice. You know, we don't wanna paper trade for fun. We wanna paper trade to, to make it real and try to make it as real as possible. And by doing that, you know, you're only gonna be able to use and utilize the tools to your disposal that you would had you been in a standard uh, in, in your account with real money. You know, we're just, the difference is we're in live. The one thing I have noticed is if you click this, so if I click show balances, it should say zero across the board because this is a demo account. Oh, okay, good. So it does. It says uh, zero across the board. The only difference is, is I don't know if there's like a finite or, or infinite amount of money that you get to participate with in this. But so let me kind of show you. So like I said, this is a demo account. And to be quite honest, so I, I do have my, um, uh, let's just do this. We're just going to short. So I'm just going to short, um, you know, 100 shares of NEO because that's what the ticker was on at 39.88. And um, actually, no, wait. So I'm going to throw it out there and let's see if it gets filled. So here's the one thing I have noticed about the program is there is a lag, a, a specifically in the demo account. Um, I don't, you know, because if, if in real life, if I was shorting and I'm below the bid, I'm getting in immediately. And so this very well should have gotten me in the trade. Um, and as you see, it looks like now it filled. Okay, so there you go. Um, so now I am in the trade and it is, you've got to wait in a little bit. I haven't actually used this to participate. So we're just going to, you know, kind of tackle this in real time unless it looks like it's going to go um, in, in not a, you know, speedy way um, but essentially at some point you should get a red bar and so you notice my quantity is minus 100 so I got filled at 100 and there should be a red bar that says where your positions are at least that's what it does on the real platform and um, if, if you were going long then it would be green and so it's kind of nice it shows you where your, your uh, average is and if let's say that this thing just kept going up and up and up and i kept shorting higher and higher and higher to bring my dollar cost average up well then my cost basis that line would follow where my cost basis is and basically would show you you know you're in the red if you're above the red line you're in the green if you're below it if you're going short and if you're going long then you're above the green line you're green and if you're below the green line then you're red as far as uh profit you know unrealized uh, goes and so um, this you know and it very well could not give me a, a profit loss and a cost per share because it's fake I don't know like I said I've never actually done this other than to do it so it's it's probably you know if, if it never does fade away which it looks like it's probably not going to and if it does actually um, you know produce the numbers accordingly then it's probably not a good um, 
paper trading account, but it is something that is available to you. And what it truly, in my opinion, is the most important is getting used to the chart, getting used to, you know, what the level twos look like. These are the level twos down here. I tried making them bigger, like on light speed. And when I do it, like distorts it all and shifts it. And I don't like that. And so, um, so let's see here. I'm going to, uh, let's just try to cover, you know, 50% of them if it does get down to 82. So I got my order out here. Um, pay no attention to this red line. I have absolutely no idea what it is. Um, but if it gets below here, so technically it did, at some point I should get filled because it is trying to buy at 82. Well, I guess we gotta go where the sellers are and I am below it. So at some point, this number should change to a 50. And again, oh, so there it is. So it did execute uh, these, like I said, this is a demo account. So, you know, I, I don't wanna, you know, bash Schwab. It's certainly not as lightning fast as Lightspeed, but th that, no, that's not how slow Schwab behaves. Uh, maybe in the first three minutes of the day, but outside of that, it actually does, it's very snappy. You know, this is direct access right here. I'm sending it right to the, to the NASDAQ book. Um, and so that is one thing that, you know, I do like with this. And, you know, you click over to the realize you're not going to get anything because there's it's it's not real money. It's fake. Um, you know, not even going to get a transaction. There you go. So just kind of showing you that. Um, let's see. And then we're just going to click close Neo. Uh, when you want to close it really quick, you can just say place order. And then we'll just see how quick that kind of closes out. It's on a market order. So whenever the, the processing time for that account does it, it you know, it'll block these out. So one more thing, sorry, my nose is itchy. Uh, one more thing that I did want to talk about uh, with this platform, and we can just do it on the demo account. It doesn't matter. Um, when you are a trader and you're brand new to trading, most people trade based on what most individuals trade based on the idea of, you know, how much money can I get? How many shares can I get? Or how much money is in my account and how much money can I use? Now, as you become more experienced, uh, as a, you become a more experienced trader, uh, rather, you tend not to trade based on how many shares you can get with that given um, ticker symbol or that given ticker price. Uh, for example, and, and I'm you know guilty of this too because I, I like to trade Tesla, but I also like to get in 400 share lots. I'm not going long or short on Tesla 400 shares. I'll be honest, my account does not hold for that. And I certainly wouldn't want to, um, you know, to get to 300 and I, I'd basically be maxing out my account, you know, big risk, big, you know, reward opportunity, but also very big risk, big loss opportunity. Um, and I don't like that. I don't even like to come close to even 10 to 20% of my max account value. Um, so because of that, uh, I, you know, I, I prefer my personal strategy is to stick with stocks that are really between the 30 to $100 range. I'll go out in and out of that a little bit. I'm not a big fan of low floats. Um, you know, mid caps are kind of like my bread and butter. Uh, I think mid caps are kind of like undervalued overall and they have a good, um, reward opportunity to the potential. Uh, again, with that being said, kind of bringing it back to what I was referring to earlier is that with trading when you begin and when you're beginning if you're a beginner you're probably doing something that i did and, and many before me i'm sure do it or, or maybe you're at this stage now and that's okay too and that is do you trade based on how much you can buy as opposed to um how many shares like i said the reason i like you know stocks between you know 300 or, or i'm sorry 30 to you know hundred dollars per share is that's because in my account I know that I can get into you know two four five six thousand dollar or six thousand shares not that I have ever any intention of getting that many shares but I have a lot of capital or a lot more capital to run with if I am you know very confident in a trade I'm going short it's not going in my way but I still am confident in it or vice versa um, it just gives me more wiggle room or more or less, it gives me wiggle room. If I see multiple plays going on at the exact same time, I want to get in, I want to dabble into both of them just a little bit, then I get that opportunity as well. Um, so because of that, I don't like all of my capital being shoved onto one ticker, even though when I'm day trading, I'm normally trading one account at a time 
and and not much of a difference from that but again like i said before it, it really does matter but what i'm getting at is if you are that person and you'd like to trade based on dollar amount instead of share amount you can do that very quickly so instead of this quantity button and let's say that you want to you know and one thing i like about schwab you can see here is when you're entering your quantity you can just like it tells you exactly based on the price you have limited out so let's say the price right now is 72 so i'm going to bring that down to 75 and you should notice these price that price changes it tells you what that price is and if you're like well i've got four thousand dollars maybe i can get you know a hundred nope can't get 150 and then you sit there and say can i do 120 nope can't do 120 can i do 100 and then you're like yeah i can do 100 but you know how many shares can i do really quickly instead what you can do is you can actually just click this little um uh, dollar icon and enter your amount and you say okay i'm willing to you know i want to go four thousand shares and or four thousand dollars and it's going to give me that amount so actually since since i did that um let's say five thousand because i think it actually would have just stuck to 100. so i've got five thousand i click okay boom so right there it's swapped to 125. so i knew that i was i was willing to put on um you know five thousand dollars worth it came out to thirty dollars shy which you know, is not enough dollars um, and not fractional share so i can get 125. and so because of that now let's you know change the the ropes a little bit let's say it's 29 um, and so we do this again we do five thousand i want to buy it at 39 dollars boom now you got three more shares because you you were waiting to buy it until it was 70 cents cheaper so if you are per, you know the type of person who would rather change trade not on the quantity share but the dollar amount value then you can certainly do that there so like i said it's something that i don't use and, and to be quite honest i don't really recommend you use if you are trading if you're swing trading sure but if you're actively day trading you should be looking more at share you know size as what your your share size you're comfortable with as opposed to dollar amount but if you're a dollar amount person go for it if you're a swing trader or an investor then i certainly understand the value of this as opposed to counting it uh, separately so like i said that's something that's just a little tip i knew nothing about this and to be quite honest i didn't really care for it but if it's something that can help you i i hope it you know this was helpful for you if you are a street uh, smart edge user you know I, I hope this is helpful um please you know feel free to use that demo account it is helpful at least to get familiar with the program itself um if you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the comment section. Uh, any you know comments or suggestions, as long as it's constructive feedback, I'd love to hear from anyone. Uh, you know, subscribe if you have not already done so, and thank you so much for watching.